Hello everyone, Reefer Gill here. I thought I'd do a quick video on filter socks and the maintenance of filter socks. Uh, as you can see in my sump here, it's the first stage of my sump and I have a filter sock there and a filter sock there. Uh, the water comes from the display tank down this PVC and into that first stage where the filter socks will then pick up any debris. I have a 200 micron filter socks. My understanding is if you go thicker than 200 that it starts getting clogged up a lot faster. It's recommended to change these out and clean them out once every week. Um, I probably do them once every two weeks. But I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, how I go about cleaning these out. And there's different ways, but I'll show you the way I do it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the filter socks. Now I have a bunch of uh, copepods in here, so what I like to try to do is once I remove the filter sock... Oh, and by the way, I do have a... In one filter sock, I run carbon at the bottom of it. So I have a carbon bag at the bottom of it here. Put this aside for now. I actually don't see very many uh, pods in, in this one. Usually there's a bunch. I wonder if I'm starting to lose some pods. But anyhow, one filter sock there. And we'll remove the other one. You can see a pod there go crawling around. So I'll just put him back in this refugium. Some pods in here. Kind of kick them off and put them in there. Right, we're down in my garage now. I have a bucket specially dedicated to cleaning filter socks. You can see how dirty the filter sock is. And this is after about a week and a half of use. And it's a seven inch long uh, 200 micron uh, filter sock. So what I'm gonna do is get some bleach. And you wanna make sure it's not scented or anything like that, just regular bleach and uh, put about a capful of bleach in here. That should be plenty right there. And then what I'm gonna do is go over to the sink over here and fill it up with some water. So from here, um, what I'll do is I'll let it sit in this uh, diluted, diluted bleach water for about 24 hours. And then I'll come back and pressure wash each filter sock and then hang dry it for about a day and then put it back into my cycle uh, to use once uh, I need it again. Currently I have uh, two extra sets of filter socks. Those filter, filter socks, as dirty as they are, will end up being uh, bleach white like this once I'm done with them. So while those guys are getting clean, I'll take a pair of these filter socks here and stick them in the, uh, the sump area. Another common way to clean filter socks is to use the washing machine with about a capful of bleach, no soap, and just wash it in the washing machine and then uh, remove it and allow it to air dry. The reason I don't do it that way is because I'm consuming more energy just washing a couple of filter socks in there. And also there's residue in there from detergents and soaps and whatnot that I'm too afraid that will get into the uh, filter sock and get absorbed by it. So I chose my method just because it uh, saves me on uh, money for uh, not, being, not having to use a washing machine and use up that energy to, to wash up the filter sock and also because uh, it's only bleach that's in there and I don't have to worry about cross-contamination with other detergents. So we'll go ahead and go and show you how I uh, pressure wash these guys. The socks have been soaking for roughly, I don't know, 18 hours or so. Should be long enough for them to have soaked in the, the bleach. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of their bucket and lay them out on the concrete here and then I'm going to use a hose to wash off the excess of waste that's still on the, the sock itself. You can see all the gunk in the water that the socks were in.
Right now the socks have a pinkish color to them, at least in real life they do. So we'll go ahead and get the hose and then I'll hose them off. So I'm just going to do this on both sides of the sock. I'm going to shut off the camera because I don't want it to get wet and ruined. Alright, so we're all done spraying down the filter socks with hose water. What I did was rinsed out this blue bucket, removed all the, the bleach that was previously in there, and refilled it with RODI water. I'll let the socks sit in here for another day. And then I'll remove the socks, let them hang dry, and put them back into recirculation so I can use them back up in the sun. That'll conclude my video. If you guys have a different way of doing this, please share. Like I said, I know the uh, washing machine is a popular way to do it. But if there's any other methods you guys do, uh, please share. And please share how often you guys uh, use filter socks or whether you choose not to use filter socks and your success with that. Just leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.